Hello! In this clip, we're going to measure how my brain responds to a visual stimulus. This is called an evoked potential. I'll show you step by step how it's done. I have these three electrodes placed on my head, one at the back, one here at the front, and one on my neck. Let's take a look at the signal we have here. What we see on the screen could be my EEG, but perhaps it's my facial muscle activity. For example, if I blink, that already looks quite different. And that's just my facial muscles. Of course, to a certain degree, my muscles are always active without me noticing. So it might just be my muscle activity showing up and my brain activity is buried deep in it. How do we know it's actually my brain activity? The trick is stimulating my brain and looking at the change in my EEG. This is called evoked potential. This is our stimulus. And we measure the EEG change at the back of my head because that's where my brain processes visual information. If I look at it now, do we see a change in my EEG? Even trying to stay very still, we can see that that still just looks like noise. You see, even with this very blunt stimulus, you can see that it only generates tiny changes in my EEG. How do we solve this? By putting many brain responses on top of each other, or in mathematical terms, we calculate the average over time. In our case, we take half second chunks and put them on top of each other. This is actually done in the lower trace here. Let's do it now as a time lapse and you can watch as it slowly emerges.